Welcome back to Iowa Live. Lou and Michelle here. And boy, oh boy, we have something fun to talk about that is right in your wheelhouse, oh, Michelle. Oh, yes. This We're is a good one. about the Junk Jubilee back in town. How fun is this? <laughs> it's a great time. And here to tell us all about it is the show founder, uh, Micka Humphrey. Welcome. Thank Exciting you. Exciting to Thanks have you here. This nice morning. to have you here, Mick. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> her friends call her Mick, so we're going to call her Mick because she has a really cool event that is going on at the Iowa State Fairground. Yes, now, in tell the us varied the, industries. Tell way. us a little bit about the history behind the Junk um, Jubilee. And we're seeing the Junk Jubilee in the best terms always, right? Oh, yes. Always. It's fun junk. Uh, my cousin and I actually started it. And um, then a couple of years after that, uh, she went back to her accounting job. And uh, so we've carried on. And... Uh, this is the end of the ninth year. Wow, so it's so. been going on for quite some time. They, yes. You had the brainstorm uh, for this in, what, 2010, mm -hmm. and the following year is when the Junk Jubilee came to be. Now, right. it, did, were you kind of a collector of oh, things yes. as well? Is that where it started? Did I've you always have loved a antiques, and my family was really into it, and, and I loved to go. College was all about going to auctions and flea markets, and so I've always, I just love old things. And uh, then the kind of the repurpose movement kind of came, sure. um, and not not necessarily to change how the thing, but more just how c you can different ways kind to of expanded use something. On it, really. And so uh, it's been exciting yeah, to absolutely. see the whole movement grow. The growth of it. Now, after um, all these years, uh, back in uh, 2011, when the first one happened, it happened over at the fairgrounds, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yes. How have things uh, changed when it comes to the items that people are bringing to the Junk Jubilee? Well, I see a lot more, um, it, you know, it's getting harder to find those one-of-a-kind items, mm -hmm. but which those are kind of, you know, pe the, what people really would like to have. Uh, um, other people uh, are more interested. Vintage clothing right now is get, is really yeah. big. Mm -hmm. um, so will we see more vintage clothing at the, this year's Jubilee? Um, some, some. Um, I just never quite know what they're bringing. Until they're there. Until they're there. How many vendors are we going to have there? Well, we had, a, last count was 125, oh but I, I had a, a couple just walk in uh, yesterday and <laughs> said, so, okay, we'll find a spot for you. Okay, walked in yesterday, but because the, the fact of the matter is, Michelle, they're getting set up. That's right, and it starts tomorrow and runs through Sunday yes. out there. And talk about um, maybe, are, are there any, because I know it, you kind of expand every year with it. Yes. Some of the new, I know we have some photos too that we are going to kind of um, highlight some of the items that people will see there, but talk about some of the, maybe the newness of this year's event. Oh, let's see. With well, maybe we some have vendors or items. Selena Vaughn bags and designs are back. Okay, um, here, let's take a look at some of the things that we're, okay. we're bringing over here. Tell us what this is. Um, this is just a, a poultry box that someone has made a table out of. They've taken spindles. Oh, okay. I was wondering what the heck that was. From, they've taken spindles and probably cut um, a pole or just a railing or railing something, yeah. and made the legs, and then they've put a top on it. A good cutting board top, mm -hmm. is what it looks like, Michelle. Yeah, lots of unique pieces and upcycling. Oh, look at this. Everybody Samples. loves to find something from their hometown. Right. And uh, could be, uh, depending on the height there, it's like a, it's on rollers, so you could have it as a, a, table. a, a table, table, a coffee table, coffee table. Um, you know, but of course a you're nice going to want to. in there, I bet. Oh, sure, you know, throw your pillows and your blankets TV in stand there. would be TV a good, stand, good yeah. thing for this one, too. Right. Yeah. yeah. How cool is that? Um, these are just, uh, I think this is Linda Madsen's, I believe, um, Little Lulu's. Um, she just takes jewelry and does fun things with them. She, um, or she makes jewelry out of different things and um, she's been with me from the very beginning. Okay. Uh, okay, take a look at that next item we have here. Love to have brand names on things, it seems. Because, yes. Yeah. Yeah, um, well, signage is always a big Dodger big Cola. Hit. Never heard of Dodger yeah, Cola. Yeah, I've not either. Yeah. Um, and the recycled lamps. Oh, this was a fun, this was our postcard one year. Um, just old suitcases, people like that, oh, you know. Yeah, some of these things you may be finding in your basements or your garages, and you just take a rag to them real quick, and, and they're in mm -hmm. great shape. Yeah, some well, architectural things are always nice or, yes, to pick up. Architectural salvage is yeah. uh, always very popular. 
big time. So what else we have here? We, we have a whole bunch of things here we're gonna show off. Oh, you know, there's, a, you know, of course you got your great statement piece with that cabinet, probably came out of an old store. It might yeah, be I was gonna a say, probably bench. an old grocery store of some sort. It, or yeah. it could have been a workbench. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, I, I love Earned, so. Uh, or, and then Ironstone, Cubbies, everybody loves Cubbies mm -hmm. to put their smalls in. Um, the candle holders are once again probably fit, uh, porch posts okay. that they've cut and, and repurposed, and repurposed okay. making it a, a candle holder. Another great thing with when you go to events like this too, you get inspiration mm -hmm. on things. Maybe you do have a few of these items exactly. at home, some different ways to use them, maybe some other things that you can incorporate in. Right, and it's fun to see the vendors really go all out to. It make it, it it's like walking into 125 different stores yeah. right and you know they all kind of have this little un, you know a friendly one upmanship you know they can outdo the <laughs> yeah. I like the, I like the fact that you know, that last picture that we saw had like a, a like a roof vent on there uh -huh. that they turned that into a decorative piece and mm -hmm. who would have thought about that that's a great idea yeah, so lots Very of great unique. ideas well, and, and people like it out in their yard you know the garden art's really popular that's too that's right sure it, it um, would spin right in front Right. Instead of being on the roof where you can't see it. A lot of people put them in their yards, plant flowers mm -hmm. around them, and um, okay, you know, that's urns, a great. I'm writing that, that one down. Okay, I'm I gave him one down. the other day on tires. Yeah, so we'll so see what he does with that too. and okay. all the bits. Okay, okay, okay. But, but this you get, is some yeah, of the stuff. One of a kind pieces, very unique, and like you'd said, that's what people are really wanting kind of those one of a kinds and things that are maybe a little bit more difficult to find. And it's junk jubilees and events like this that you're actually going to be yes, able to it's, find. Yes, it's not strictly antiques, it's, you know, collectibles, it's also repurposed, um, farm, a lot of galvanized type things, right. um, but, uh, you do the show in the spring. You do two shows a year, yes. correct? One in the spring and then one this time of year, of course. And talk about maybe, is it the same vendors at each show? Or, or um, what are some of the differences? Some are, have been with me from the very start. Right. Um, Rusty Pumpkin from Ankeny. Right. Um, um, Several. Okay, okay so I, I just minute from the beginning. We'll, we'll figure that way. If you go there, you, you can find Mick, find Mick, and she'll point out some of the ones that have been yeah. there uh, from the very beginning. Right. But that's happening this weekend. It's happening starting mm -hmm. tomorrow, going through Sunday. A yes, okay. 8 a.m. Uh, at the early bird, 8 to 10. Mm -hmm. And then general admission starts at 10 to 5. Okay. And then Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sunday, 10 to 4. Excellent. Do so we that typically see a lot of holiday things at this yes. show? Yes. Uh, the vendors kind of, look, you know, look for it all year, mm -hmm. and then this is where they, but it's not strictly holiday. Okay, so this one, the fall one is happening right now, so we know that's happening starting tomorrow, but let's give everybody a heads up on the spring one, because you already know yes. when that one's yes. happening, right? Yes, April, the last weekend of April, okay. April 24th, 25th, and 26th. All right, so circle that on your calendars of 2020, already planning for 2020. Yeah, you put a great show on down Thank there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Come out and see us. Love it was nice to meet you, Michelle and Lou, mm -hmm. and thanks for having Thank me. Thank you for being here, and we might be nosing around the yeah. John Jubilee happening this weekend at the Iowa State Fairgrounds. Check them out uh, online and get all the details.